Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Hi, thank you for joining me. Who do I have with me today? You have Chi Lan Leo. How are you, Valder? I am so well. Thank you for joining us on the Valder BB Show. We want to know what you know that we need to know, Chi Lan. <laughs> well, today we're all we're talking about apps and how apps are really going to help you figure out your needs, your goals, and achieve them in a quicker manner and just get you going. Okay, what apps do you think we need? Because, you know, we're starting to amass apps like people want to amass money now. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you want to be on the forefront of what's happening in the app world. And I have to tell you, one of the big goals that people have, which is really exciting, is that they're starting to reconnect with all of their friends and family. And according to the Ipsos survey, the app to have for that is Facebook. I mean, that's not a big surprise. They say that they have over 1.5 billion monthly active users. That is so many people. But they also give you this array of powerful tools to use to update people and you can also you know read people's updates whether it be words or pictures or video now they're starting something new called the live video feed because snapchat and periscope have been such big hits where you actually get to interact live with video so instead of having to go to a different app you can do it within facebook which is going to be really exciting I want my audience to know that Chilan Lu is my technology and lifestyle expert today on the Valder BB Show. That is exciting, Chilan. I, I, okay, so when we say live, but when I find it in my uh, feed, it, it, does it just go to podcast mode or in a sense? Uh, not exactly, but what you do have an option of doing when you're doing like these live casts on Facebook is you can set it so that it'll actually just notify your people when you're on live or you can actually save it afterwards so people can watch it afterwards or it can just disintegrate which is also a lot of fun <laughs> i like that and i have seen it because it tells me how many people were in the live feed at the time by the time i come on that podcast i exactly. like that and they can also <laughs> chat with you so they can ask you questions live if they're there just watching your live feed which is really really exciting but another one of the big goals that the ipso survey points to is a lot of people are using apps to stay better to plan better to organize and to also try out new things and the app of choice is pinterest and there's no question why pinterest is this amazing global catalog of ideas and a lot of pinners use it daily just to find something new that they can try from how to rock a really cool 70s suede jacket with some bell bottoms because you know the 70s are coming back to just finding a new weekday recipe that you can try or learning a new skill like tying a bow tie moms actually use pinterest most for planning meals for the family while millennials use pinterest for fashion as well as fitness tips that was going to be my next question. Who are on these apps? Because when I'm asking young, young people, mm -hmm. uh, 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 the millennials' kids, they go like, I know that app. Yeah, we have to find where they are. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and the millennials are always going to be the earliest adopters when it comes to apps. But really, it's about what this app can do for you, right? So like I was saying before, how Pinterest is really popular amongst moms for, for planning out the meals. But when it comes to something like, like fashion tips, I find that that's across the board. Millennials go straight to Pinterest for that instead of other websites or other apps. But really, I mean, everyone can find Pinterest as something, a place where they can really relax. They can plan their next vacation. They can plan the next birthday party. And it's just a place for you to stay better organized, kind of 
learn new things, get creative. I personally have my Pinterest board all about jewelry inspiration because I'm starting my own jewelry line. And it's just a lot of fun to have that as like my private place where I can explore my creativity, learn new things, and just look at beautiful pictures because it's really about easy, useful, everyday tips. If I'm having a bad hair day, I know I can go to Pinterest and figure out that this braid will stop this angle from happening and this cowlick from being shown. All right, then. <laughs> As we wrap up and finding out about me, where do we go? If you I want to have me, more me time, more me, me. Well, you can absolutely go to Facebook as well as Pinterest because those, according to the Ipso survey, are the best places to really unwind, concentrate on yourself, and find a lot of me time. Explore who you are and keep up with anything and everything that you want to. These social media apps are all about letting you indulge you and empowering the everyday person. And these apps are great ones to start if you haven't figured out what your app menu should be on your phone. Well, this is the me generation. I'm sure we <laughs> like that. Okay, you got one place you want to send us to get more information, Chin Lu, before course, I let you go? Yeah, you can, of course, go to my blog at chi-lan.com. And thank you so much thank for having me. And thanks for the information. Bye-bye.